Hi, fifth graders. Today we're going to be practicing how to play Workplace 3B, Draw and Compare Decimals. In today's game, we're going to practice comparing decimals and reading them out loud. Let's get started. After you decide who's going to be player one and player two, the first thing you're going to do is spin our spinner. So I spun greater than. So our goal this first round is going to be who can get the decimal that's greater than the other one. So the first thing player one is going to do is they're going to draw five cards. So I'm going to spread them out so we can see them. Once I draw all five, I'm going to write them down where it says number cards I drew. So I drew nine, seven, two, eight, and five. Since I spun greater than, my goal is to make the largest decimal possible. So I'm going to use my largest three cards since I need three decimal places. So a nine, a seven, and an eight. I'm going to put that two and that five to the side for now. So I'm going to place them in the order that will make the largest decimal possible. So in the tenths place, I want my biggest number, my nine. The hundredths, I'm going to put my eight. And the seven, I'm going to put in my thousand place. Okay, so I'm going to record it where it says decimal I made. Since we're also practicing reading our decimals out loud, I'm going to read my decimal. So that number that I made was 987, and my 7 is in the thousandths place. So that number is 987 thousandths. Okay, so I use my 9, my 8, and my 7, so I'm going to discard those. And so player two, I'm going to change colors, is going to start with the two cards I had left over. So that might be part of your strategy. So they're going to start with a two and a five. And then they're going to draw three more cards. So they had a two, five, nine, seven, and a one. I'm going to follow the same strategy to make the biggest decimal possible. Let me cut ahead in our game just a little bit. Okay, so I created 975. My five is in my thousandths place. So I read that as 975 thousandths. So now I need to practice comparing my decimals to figure out, did player one, my red player win, or player two, my blue player? So let me change colors so we can see how I'm going to compare them. So when we compare, we always start with the largest place value that they have in common. With this one, it's our whole number. They both have a zero. So I'm going to move to my tenths place. They both have a nine. So that doesn't help me. So in my hundredths place, red player has an eight. And my blue player has a seven. So since eight is greater than seven, eight hundredths is greater than seven hundredths. That means that player one, my red player, is my winner. So we're going to keep playing this game for two more rounds. And the winner is whoever wins two out of three. To add an extra challenge, try finding the difference between the two players' values. Have fun.